An osteochondral allograft procedure is a procedure whereby a donor, who would typically donate their heart, liver, lungs, also donates their cartilage and bone from the joint that we're specifically going to be treating. So that could be the shoulder, the elbow, the knee, or even the hind foot of the foot and ankle. This is a procedure whereby we take a size matched graft of cartilage and bone that matches the same site that we would otherwise replace that has damaged cartilage. So specifically, for example, in the knee, if you have a localized area of bone and cartilage loss, you might be an excellent candidate for an osteochondral allograft transplantation. This procedure is performed in an outpatient setting, does not require you to be on medications to suppress your immune system as your body doesn't see this tissue as foreign. The procedure is done with special instrumentation that creates a cylindrical socket whereby a recipient core from the donor is placed into that socket, almost like a mosaic tile, to restore the surface of the joint. Postoperatively, you might be asked to be on crutches, utilizing continuous passive motion, which is a machine that provides early range of motion. Typically, patients are off a brace, crutches, and the motion machine by four to six weeks, and we allow full return to sport at about six to eight months. There are times where this procedure will have to be performed with a concomitant procedure, such as a meniscus transplant or a realignment procedure to correct someone who has bow-leggedness or who has knock knee. Our success rates are in the 75 to 85% range, including patients who desire to return to high-level sports. In addition, we will discuss the application of bone marrow concentration, which is a procedure whereby we take bone marrow through a syringe, concentrate it in a centrifuge at the time of surgery, utilize the cells that are present that have growth factors to encourage bony healing between the donor and the recipient socket. This is the subject of active research. Insurance companies consider it experimental and investigational, and therefore it's an uncovered benefit and has an associated out-of-pocket expense. These are things we will also discuss in the office setting. The best orthopedic care starts with the best orthopedic research. I am a proud faculty member in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Rush University home to the Midwest's largest team of bone and joint scientists. With surgeons and clinicians partnering with elite laboratory researchers and data scientists, we continue to devise new solutions that push the boundaries of what's possible in the treatment of musculoskeletal conditions. Our work informs orthopedic care around the world and is fueled by donors, patients, and families who believe in our research to help more people lead active lives free of pain. To learn more about opportunities to participate in research or become a supporter, please ask a member of my team or visit our website at this address.